market research produces data that can be classed as qualitative or quantitative data. Do check out these videos too as they may be of interest to you. I will put the link to them in the description box. Quantitative and quantitative data can help identify and anticipate customer needs and wants, quantify likely demand, and gain insight into consumer behavior. Qualitative data involves a collection of data which involves feelings, attitudes, and emotions. This data is usually collected using primary research methods, often with one-on-one -on -one interviews or the use of focus groups. There are other secondary research methods as well. This kind of data can use focus groups that have in-depth discussions on a product or service with aims to gain an understanding as to why consumers behave a certain way. Open questions are often used for this type of research and it aims to answer questions such as why or how and ask questions like what do you think about this product? Let's take a look at the benefits of qualitative data. So first of all, it provides a business with descriptive information to help understand consumer needs more. They're able to find out about their attitudes and opinions and their feelings about certain products or services. So they're getting this in-depth, rich information. Another benefit is that it can be a flexible approach to gain data from a relatively small sample. So again, they're finding out about opinions and their attitudes and it's more flexible, it's not rigid. Let's take a look at a couple of disadvantages. Now, first of all, it can be time consuming. So if you think about it, running and conducting focus groups and also getting all the participants to be at the venue, all of that is going to take time. In addition to that, all of this information needs to be analyzed, which is going to be very time consuming. So gathering this type of data can be very time consuming. It also can be quite costly. On to quantitative data. This type of data involves a collection of data that involves facts, figures, and numbers. In order to help you remember what this term means, whenever you hear the word quantitative, think quantity, think numbers. This type of research can be measured and reduced to a number. It often involves collecting statistical data. Examples of quantitative data include government statistics, surveys, and the sales data from a business. Where surveys are used, questions could be asked such as how often do you buy this product? Whether it be once a day, more than once a day, once a week, and so forth. Questions like these are closed questions with fixed answers. So the benefits of quantitative data are that it's straightforward and easy to analyze. So the results from quantitative data tend to be represented in charts or graphs, so it's easy to understand. Another benefit is that it gives the business the ability to collect large volumes of data very quickly. However, there are disadvantages to quantitative data. It does not include specific opinions. So we know that we would get opinions and emotions and attitudes. We'd get that from qualitative data, but not from quantitative. In addition to that, it doesn't explain the numerical trends. So where we need an explanation or a description, we wouldn't be able to get that from quantitative data. However, good market research will use both qualitative and quantitative data.